Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV with another video on iOS 7. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you some tips, some tricks, and some secret features you can use with iOS 7. Now be sure to watch all the way till the end because I'm saving the best hidden feature till the end of the video. Let's get started. First up, we've got the ability to move stock applications into folders. Now specifically, newsstand was a big issue in iOS 6, but I've got it right here, and all you do is hold, and then you can drag it over and hide it in a folder. Next up, we have Spotlight Search, and a lot of people thought it was gone because when you swipe to the right from your front page, it was no longer there, but all you need to do to access it is simply swipe down pretty much from any page on your iPhone, and it'll bring up Spotlight Search. The next hidden feature involves the camera application. So taking a look at mine here, you'll notice I have the grid set up. Now with the iOS 7 camera, the options tab was removed, but if you go into your settings tab and you scroll down, there's a new setting called photos and camera. And if you tap on that and scroll down, you'll see grid and you can swipe to turn your grid on. The next hidden features within the compass application. Now obviously you'll notice a difference from iOS 6 in the compass, but if you swipe to the left in the compass, you're given a level and this is a working level as if the iPhone is not level, it will go off and show you what level you're actually at. Moving back to the camera application, again, specifically the video section here, you'll notice that I'll be able to zoom while recording. So we'll press the record button and you can use a pinch to zoom while you're recording or actually use your finger and just move the little toggle at the bottom here. Another quick tip is the feature within multitasking and that'll allow you to actually close multiple tasks at once. So all you do is swipe up, obviously, to close one if you want to close two, swipe up with both. If you can manage three, go ahead and swipe up with three. Another change within iOS 7 is the clock application and the icon itself. As you can see, if you look closely, the second hand is actually moving live with the clock and the clock's time is actually the same time that you'll see on your digital clock. Now also within the clock application, you can go to the world clock section and actually change from an analog clock to a digital clock just by tapping. The next hidden feature involves Control Center. Now, if you're ever in an application or on the internet and you're in landscape mode, you can simply bring up Control Center just by swiping up from the bottom and you'll get a Control Center in landscape mode. Now, finally, we have the coolest feature within iOS 7, personally, at least my favorite, is the ability to use a panoramic picture as your background or wallpaper for your iPhone. Now, I went ahead and took a panoramic photo and as you can see, as I move my iPhone around, it goes all the way around the panoramic photo and this pretty much works throughout. Now probably this will burn out your battery a lot faster since it is like a live background, but what you do is go into your settings application and you wanna to go to brightness and wallpapers. You wanna then tap on your wallpaper and scroll to where it says panoramic. You'll need to take a panoramic photo first, but once you choose it, it'll give you a live preview of it. You can see how it'll look and then you can set it and either set it as your lock screen or home screen or both. We'll set it as both. And now if we go back to our home screen here, you'll see we've got a live background. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I honestly did. Playing around with this was pretty fun. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will see you in the next one.